If you want to learn how to make amazing product visualization animations like these inside of Unreal Engine 5, then this course is going to be perfect for you. Because in this course, we're going to be learning the basics of product animations inside of Unreal Engine 5. And we're going to be covering the whole workflow, including importing the models in Unreal Engine 5, texturing the models, lighting the whole scene, creating a whole studio environment around the scene, and then finally animating, rendering, and color grading inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, this course is going to be perfect for all those who want to understand the workflow of a professional 3D artist and take their product visualization game to the next level. And not only you will learn the whole workflow you will also have two realistic animations uh, by the end of this course to maybe add to your portfolio or post on social media so if you want to take your unreal engine 5 product visualization game to the next level then this course is perfect for you enroll now and i will see you in class All right so next we're going to be making this render right here uh, this animation and you can see that it is uh, sort of like a studio animation of this watch and it looks pretty decent doesn't it um, we have a lot of lights in this scene. We have created um, a whole sort of studio and we have imported a model from Blender, although you can use any model from the internet essentially. And I think it looks pretty good. And so let's begin with the tutorial. So firstly, you can, you're gonna need a model. For the model, you can just go to the internet and you can search for watch 3D model. And you can essentially just go to Sketchfab or any of these other websites. Make sure that you are going to a trusted website. So these three are trusted. These three, uh, I've been using these for quite a long time and they seem to be fine however obviously be be wary of downloading any um, random things from any random website right so you're going to see that we have quite a lot of options right here uh, make sure that it has uh, the model which you're trying to download has this download icon right here uh, and the ones which have this dollar sign they are actually available for download however they are paid they're not free um so you can just choose any one of these you can obviously choose like a stylized watch as well or you can maybe choose something like this um what do you call this it's one of those apple watches uh the apple watch ultra i think that's what it's called anyway so you have a lot of options right here you can maybe choose this maybe something like this apple watch uh series whatever this is um this is actually a good model i might use this in a in another render however uh, you can even choose something like this however the one which i'm going to be using for this render is going to be um one from blender kit so if you don't know what blender kit is it's basically an add-on for blender uh so i'm just going to go to blender if you're using another 3D software, you can either download Blender and just follow along. It's a free software and it's not that big either. Um, you can just download it in a few minutes. I think this one is really good. It's a pretty realistic watch. Um, and so you can essentially just go to Blender and then you can just delete everything. And then you can go to the Blender Kit add-on. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you how to install Blender Kit add-on. You can just search that on Google. And there's a there's a proper tutorial on blenderkit.com as well if you want uh, to know how to do that. Uh, but I'm just gonna be searching for watch right here and let's do free first and so you're going to see that the the model which i used previously was this one right here rolex submariner um but this time actually i want to use something else i want to actually import a model from sketchfab because i want to show you guys how to sort of uh texture models and how to compile the models inside of blender because it's pretty easy to use models from blender because you simply just uh you literally just click on the model and it just comes up in my bad, I actually clicked the wrong one. Um, it just comes up in your viewport and you can just export this as FPX. However, I'm going to show you how to import models from the internet. So let's first choose a good model. Um, so, right, so I did some searching and I think this model right here is a really good model. Uh, so I'm just going to open right here. You're going to see that it's pretty detailed. Um, and obviously the textures do not really matter that much because we're going to be adding our separate textures inside of Unreal Engine. However, uh, the watch face looks really nice. It's very minimal. It's very simple. And everything else seems to be good as well. Obviously, you can just do some searching and you can um, just pick the model which you like the best. This one's pretty good. Again, all of this comes down to personal preference. Um, anyway, so you can also use these other websites, uh, websites as well. Uh, so yeah, let's begin with downloading the model. So for, uh, with the model selected, you're simply going to click download 3D model right here. And luckily, this model comes in a dot .blend format. Um, usually, if uh, it's going to either come in a .fpx format or maybe dot, um, .obj format. So you can just simply uh, download it in that format and then import it inside of Blender. And so, but this time, we're just going to have to download this blend, .blend file. If you are, let's say, uh, looking to import like a .fpx file, you're simply going to go to File, Import, and then FPX or maybe DAE or maybe OBJ. Where's OBJ? Here's OBJ. Um, and you can essentially import all of these models, right? Uh, so you can just click that and you can just select whichever file you want. However, with .blend files, it's a little different. You simply have to just uh, go inside the zip folder, which just came from the uh, from the download. 
and I'm just gonna drop it right here. Let's right click and let's create a new folder. I'm just gonna call this watch access and I'm gonna be dragging both of these inside. Oops, my bad, what am I doing? Inside the folder. And so I'm gonna go to source and you're gonna see that we have a dot blend file right here. And we can just double click to open it. And it's just gonna essentially open up a blender scene for us. I'm just gonna go ahead and close my previous blender project. I'm not going to save that and everything is perfect right uh so you're going to see that this is the model also make sure uh whichever model you're using make sure that you have the rights to use that model so all credits for credits for this model uh goes to this person right here uh give him a follow um and then you can just simply uh make sure that it has um a creative commons license to it so in this uh, specific case you can use it um however you have to attribute uh the actual creator of the model right so just be sure to do that and then i think we are good to go with everything else make sure that your top part is fine and this is actually good because the watch face is sort of embedded inside um the what do you call it like the actual model itself so we don't really need to import and export any textures All right so i think we are looking decent and this class is looking good as well So I'm just going to control Z because I actually moved the class up. Anyways, now we can simply go ahead and export this model. Uh, so to export the model, what you're going to do is you're simply going to go to file, export, and then .fpx. And so you can just export it wherever you want. I'm just going to export it in desktop and as fpx, export it, right? Uh, make sure if you have any other things in your scene, for example, I had some of these lights and stuff like that, make sure to either delete them or you can just uh, either delete them I'm going to go ahead and delete them. Or uh, if, for example, you cannot delete uh, the files for whatever reason, you can simply just select all, um, what do you call it, all the assets which you want to export. And then you can just go to File, Export, FPX, and then make sure that you select Limit to Selected Objects. So it's going to only going to export the objects which are selected. Um, and so I'm just going to delete this model right here. And I'm just going to export it again. Right. And now we can simply go ahead and open Unreal Engine 5. So I'm just going to open Unreal Engine 5 and you can just go to games and create a new blank project. Make sure to turn on ray tracing uh, in your project if you have an NVIDIA RTX graphic card. Otherwise, you can just leave it off. Uh, ray tracing does make your scenes look slightly more realistic. Uh, however, you're perfectly fine without it as well. You can just name your project whatever you want and save it wherever you want and then just create the project. However, I'm going to be using a pre-existing project because I have all the assets which I need already imported in there. So I'm just going to use this project right here. So I'm just going to open that. And um, I'm just going to wait for that to open. Meanwhile, we can just go ahead and minimize Blender and close this out as well. So once you're inside of Unreal Engine 5, you can just go ahead and go to File new level and then you can just create a new empty level i like to start from scratch because this is the perfect um, um what do you call it this is a perfect starting point for us now you can go ahead and ignore all these assets because these are from my other projects you're obviously not going to have all these assets so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to content i'm going to right click and i'm going to create a new folder let's call this watch ss and then what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to my desktop and just go to wherever you saved that model and drag that fpx file inside of unreal engine 5 into the content browser right make sure skeletal mesh is not turned on because that's going to mess up our model uh, and you can just go ahead and click import all um and so it's done i can just cross these out and now you're going to see that we have all our assets imported separately um so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be simply selecting the first one and select the last one shift select the last one so that all of them are selected and then you can just import them inside of your scene just drag and drop them like that all right, one thing which I forgot to mention previously was, let me just move this model a little up first, something like that, because I, I usually this grid is sort of annoying when it comes to uh, lighting and stuff like that, right? So I'm not going to bother that. Anyways, uh, one thing which I forgot to do previously was to check uh, the normals of your model, right? So this time, luckily, all the models are fine, except for this one right here. But what you're going to do is you can simply go to Blender. I'm just going to close this out. I don't know why that is open. Anyways, you can just simply select your model go to your uh, viewport shading mode, click this button right here, and then click face orientation. Now make sure that everything in your scene is blue. If it's red, then it's not going to appear properly inside of Unreal Engine 5, right? So this right here is not uh, the correct normal orientation. You can see that this is a separate object, this right here. Uh, so we can simply in invert the, invert the what do you call it, normals of that. And if I go into Unreal Engine 5, you're going to see that if I just simply add a basic lighting setup by going to window, 
environment light mixer create skylight atmospheric light sky atmosphere volumetric cloud and then height fog we're obviously not going to be using this lighting setup because uh, we want to create a whole studio for our scene uh, i'm just going to go to skylight and just turn on real time capture for now because that's going to make our scene look a lot better anyway so the reason why i'm doing this is to show you that this thing right here you're going to see that because the models were not fine because the models were sort of inverted uh you can you're going to see that it looks very bad right so you have two options to fix this one option is to do it inside of blender so what you can do is you can simply select the model which you want to invert the normals of and then you can just press tab to go into edit mode press a to select everything and then you can just go to mesh normals and then flip right if i tab out of edit mode you're going to see that everything is going to be perfectly fine now now what if you already imported your model inside of Unreal engine 5 just like we did it you can also invert the normals inside of Unreal engine 5 as well uh, how exactly do we do that we simply go to uh, we simply select the object first and then we go inside of selection mode you go to modeling mode right so once you're inside the modeling mode you can simply go down uh, and into this attributes uh, tab and you can just simply select normals right here and then you can simply click this invert normals button right here once i do that you're going to see that our textures are going to our mesh is going to appear just fine so you can see the before and the after so this is the before and this is the after it looks much better right we're obviously going to be adding the textures later on but for now i think it looks good and another problem which i'm noticing right now is that this uh, bottom part right here is looking very weird um so let's try to understand what is happening what exactly is happening with this because this is blue right so why exactly isn't it appearing properly inside our scene so i think this mesh right here is not exactly imported or is it um let's see what the problem is so a lot of times in uh in 3d animations you're gonna have to sort of troubleshoot a lot of things and you're gonna have to figure out a lot of problems and okay so i'm not really trying to i'm, I'm not really understanding why that is yeah actually one thing which might uh, have happened was that maybe we didn't select this uh the specific model right here um yeah because this was inside i think one of these yeah this was inside uh one of these uh, sort of folders right so i'm just gonna export the model once again um and obviously you're not gonna have to do this because uh, if you selected all everything or one thing which i can simply do is i can simply just export it again but this time export everything right so i'm just going to delete this backup right here and this time i'm going to export it as fbx and i'm not going to check this right because uh previously what happened was that we had one of these not selected and so that was not imported inside of our scene and so i'm just going to delete this model right here and export it once again uh now i'm obviously going to have to ex import the model inside of Unreal engine 5 once again and I know this is a little hectic, but I want you guys to sort of come along with me and experience my whole creative process, right? Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this is to sort of tell you guys that a lot of 3D animation, a lot of 3D um, design is essentially just troubleshooting and just fixing problems and just figuring out what uh, problems are, right? So I want you guys to sort of build that mindset as well. And so what I did was I simply just imported the model once again. This time, hopefully, if I select the first one, shift select the last one, import it in your scene. This time you're going to see that all the models which we need are perfectly imported, right? That's exactly what you want. I'm just going to move uh, this model up slightly. That's perfect. And let's make sure to just go ahead and invert the normals once again, if they are still, yeah, they're actually fine now because we went ahead and fixed them inside of, uh, what do you call it, Blender. Right, so now I'm just going to close out Blender, and now let's start with Unreal Engine 5 texturing.